Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Kukwa to see through my chain. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about how to stay on track during the holidays when it comes to your weight loss. You guys already know we are around the holidays. You know, Christmas is coming, New Year's is coming, Thanksgiving just passed, and you know, some people are really having a hard time staying on track when it comes to the holidays because you know there's all the food the drinks whether it's alcoholic non-alcoholic there's just so much going on to the point that like you need to really know how to stay on track and if you're one of those people thank you for clicking on this video this is the video for you if you just want to know how to stay on track to maintain or to lose weight this is the video for you. All right, guys, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. It is free, turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Also, if you are a returning subscriber, you already know, it is all love. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly, truly appreciate you. And yeah, you guys, let's get started. So I have my notes right here, so you would see me looking down. Um, I wrote everything down so we don't just ramble on. You guys already know how I do it here. So the first thing I want you to do is to count your calories okay if you do not already count your calories you guys know i'm big in counting your calories i use my fitness pal you know it's on um, iphone and i believe also in android i use that app to track my calories okay please 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 it is very important especially during the holidays for you to stay on track you need to track your calories i cannot stress that enough please track your calories that will help you and let's say in a day you have to eat 1200 calories right in the morning you already ate 600 calories you know if you're gonna eat two meals that day your next meal can also be 600 calories and if you are trying to eat three meals it has to be 300 calories 300 calories and you're gonna have to share those 600 calories in two different meals and so that is how you count your calories if you want to see an in-depth video on how to count your calories just let me know down below and I'll do one for you guys the second way of staying in track during the holidays is eating smaller portion all right so let's say I know tonight I'm having like a Christmas dinner or Christmas lunch this evening what I'll do is I'll, I'll let's say also I fast by the way I also definitely recommend that so me personally I start eating at 12 right at noon I start eating and let's say my Christmas lunch is at 2 or 3 or my Christmas dinner is around 7 I personally will have like a very small meal for that um, as my brunch okay it will probably be something just to hold me up to the dinner if i'm going to the dinner right so if i'm having lunch i personally will probably if i'm hungry okay because sometimes i do not get hungry i told you guys about the tea that i take not to be hungry it is the first link in the description box down below check it out purchase it is great like it helps you curb your appetite it sends you to the bathroom it helps you clean it's really really good so you can check that out that's the tea i will take like when i take that tea i do not get hungry so if i'm hungry before the lunch at two or three what i do is eat like a fruit an apple a banana yogurt something really low in calories that's like under 150 calories knowing that i have my 12 something for the rest of the day you know I know if I go to lunch, if I look at the menu, and let's say it's outside, right? It's at a restaurant. If I look at the menu, I can know exactly what to eat and how much to eat, you know? I don't have to finish my whole plate if I go to a restaurant. I can take the rest home. You don't have to go out and eat your whole plate, especially when you see a lot of food. You always feel the need to eat everything. Make sure you eat enough to be satisfied. You can keep the rest for the next day. So that will help you, you know, eat enough calories for that day without overeating, you know? So the next tip I have for you guys is to intermediate fast, okay? I personally intermediate fast from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Those are my eating window, okay? And depending on what I have to do throughout the day, I can move it a little bit. You can really play around with those eating windows. And the last one I want to mention is OMED. If you guessed it, you guessed it right. Oh man, okay, one meal a day. Let's say you know tonight my family is cooking so much food. We're gonna have a family dinner. I hope I'm on focus. I hope I am. Okay, I hope I am. So, um, yeah, let's say your family is gonna keep, cook so much food. It's Christmas. Everybody's gonna be eating. We're gonna be sharing gifts. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna be drinking. We're gonna be okay. What you need to do, okay? Make sure. Once again, make sure you fast. Let's say for example your family. Is having dinner on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day right on Christmas Eve 
you guys had late dinner, like around 10 p.m., right? You ate at 10 p.m. Start your fasting at 11 p.m. on Christmas Eve and eat the next day whenever you guys will have the Christmas Day dinner or lunch. Like, you can fast and just eat between maybe 2 to 7, depending on when the dinner is. Like, you can really fast. Like, you can really play around with those numbers, you know? It would depend on your case. You know, if you have questions, you can definitely DM me. I'll try to help you as much as I can when it comes to, you know, knowing when to eat and how to eat, depending on the hours that you also have open to eat, you know? If you're going to do one meal a day, you can start fasting at 11 p.m., like I said, until the next day when you guys are ready to have that big family meal again for Christmas Day, you know? That one meal can be consisting of all the calories you normally eat in a day. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you guys, that's what I mean when I say Omed, one meal a day. When you guys have that dinner, you can put all you need and you eat that one meal and that's your only meal for that day. But if you are really, really hungry, you can take something low in calories or small just so it can sustain you until it's time for you to have that nice big meal, right? So yeah, you guys, a lot of people will tell you about eating twice a day or Omed. Either way, it's up to you. It depends on how your family, you know, celebrates, how you celebrate. If you have two meals on the on the holidays or one meal some people just have a christmas uh dinner or christmas lunch some people do both you know also if your family cooks breakfast lunch and dinner on christmas day you can just cut your calories throughout those uh, meals you know um, for let's say you're eating 1200 right so let's take our calculator we're going to do the math let's say you eat 1200 calories divided by three that's about 400 calories a meal right Breakfast, let's say breakfast is not such a, it's not so much of your forte. On breakfast, you can probably just eat 200 calories, 300 max. So now you're left with 900 calories. Lunch or dinner, depending on which meals um, you prefer, you can once again eat a bit. And then when it comes to your dinner, you eat the rest of your calories. Or you can eat more on your lunch. And when it comes to your dinner, you eat the remaining. So it's really like that. That's how you can play with staying on track. And the caviar, the little, the little drip sprinkle I have to add is... If you have a tea that helps you go to the bathroom, that help you flush, that help you um, with your appetite, baby, you are all set because that will help you avoid constipation. Because if you guys do not know, if you're not used to eating like that, sometimes you can get constipated. You having a tea that helps you go to the bathroom, that flushes you, that help you detox while you are you know, going through the holiday season, I recommend you always have that type of tea around, which is why I'm recommending the very first tea in the description box down below. Definitely check that out. Also, I'll pin it down in the comment section so you guys can just click on that link. That tea is amazing. That's what I take myself. You guys know I lost a whole lot of weight so far and I'm still losing more. So yeah, you guys, that is what I recommend. Um, and make sure you eat until you're satisfied, not just to stuff yourself, okay? Because that's also going to cause you problems when it comes to digesting, okay? Make sure you eat until you're satisfied. Do not eat just to stuff yourself because a lot of us know, oh, yeah, it's the holidays. Let me just stuff my face. No. Eat until you're satisfied. Don't eat until, like, you're just, you can't even breathe no more because we know how it is. You know, you haven't eaten this mac and cheese. Oh, my grandma's mac and cheese is bomb. Oh, my mom, um... Cornbread is bomb. Oh, oh, she made that chicken. She cooks good. And then you want to put everything in the plate. And next you know you're eating, eating, eating to the point that your stomach is hurting. Because you're no longer used to eating like that, first of all. And second of all, you might get constipated. So, like I said, make sure you always have that type of tea around. I like to drink my tea at night. Especially when I know I have been eating bad during the day. I like to eat it at night. So, by the morning time, I will flush everything out. Okay, and like I said, that tea is a detox and also a weight loss tea and an appetite suppressant. So you will definitely enjoy that tea. Definitely check the tea down below, like I said, in the description box and also in the comment section, I'll pin it. And let me know if you have tried the tea before. Let me know what you think, if it helped you. And also, don't forget to let me know if this video helped you at all when it comes to staying on track during the holidays. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. So if you are new to the channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe down below. That helps me a whole lot. If you're a returning subscriber, you already know it is all love. Thank you so much for your love and support. Don't forget to make sure the notification bell is turned on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. And I'll catch you guys on my next one. Happy holidays. Bye, guys.